Hey guys, welcome back to Spain's new clothes in EU4 Mary Nostrum. And uh, we're going for the Spain as the Emperor and Emperor's new clothes achievement. So, um, running a little bit of a deficit, but that's fine. Right now we are um, spending nearly 140 ducats, well, 134 ducats on um, colonies, which are pretty close to finishing, so that's good. Got a bit of our extension from taking land from Japan, but that's fine. We'll just get the things on the way. Um, yeah, things are going pretty well. I'm happy with how things are going anyway. True Solomons are up. We can attack them. We probably will at some point. Also, I noticed that these um, forces were a bit low on uh, manpower. Well, not on manpower, on the front line. As you see, the back line is way too big, so... Have a bunch of um, soldiers being built there. Uh, we're gonna get some rebel issues up here in Japan. We're at 90%, I think it was. Yep, there they are. Oh, big stack. But we have a superior general, and it is. Oh, hills. That's not good. Oh well. Superior general, superior everything. Our discipline is just huge. And our infantry combat um, ability as well is bound to help us out a lot. We're gonna now be spending a bit of money on manpower um, while reinforcing this army. Rebel uprising, Japan separatists. So that'll probably be maybe like this province. Yeah, probably be that one I take it, because it is the higher value. Or not. Oh, we don't want to do that. We don't want to have the um, crossing penalty. That would be bad. Sulu Separatists. Ooh, Poland. Our faithful ally. Game is just trying to catch up. Um, is that war with them that's gonna be fun um i accept want to keep my um, allies happy after all so we're going to be going probably there probably want a leader we'll give um oh that's the leader that the other guy had i think um we want siege leaders decent ones let's go straight for capitals so we get in the wall quicker over here we we'll want the other leader in charge. We need a leader at least. Um, Ten prestige or diplo power. We'll take the. Are we ahead of time? We are ahead of time. Um, we don't need dip, uh, prestige though, so we'll take diplo power. We can use that to convert more provinces. <clears throat> so I saw um, basically they're doing an overhaul to the. Um, Mama, might just get rid of these guys, I think. We don't need um, to pay for mercenaries when we have plenty of manpower. Uh, another one. But yeah, they're making a change to how the uh, whole cultural, um, accepted cultures and everything works. So now we actually have control over it, which I'm really looking forward to that. That's going to make a, quite the change. So that's good. So basically, you can um, you can have up to two accepted cultures unless you take the idea groups like um, humanist ideas and I think probably diplomatic ideas maybe, and you can um, pick what cultures you want to be accepted. I don't know if that means, like for example, right now our accepted culture. Um, so this is in an accepted culture, but it's in the Iberian culture group, which is accepted. So I don't know if that's still going to be the case, or if. Um, We'd have to actually pick them to be accepted. But I don't know, we'll see. It'll be interesting at least. I like it because a lot of times um, when you start growing really big, it's just really hard to have um, accepted cultures. Like it's ridiculously hard. We'll just stop there, I think. Another siege done. Austria, by the way, is beast moding this um, at the moment. It's huge. 
So huge. Big fights coming up there, but that's fine. If I'm not involved, then that's good. Um. So which one is this? This one? Yes. So we're making positive money again. Uh, that's probably from... What do you call it? Looting, I suspect. That 5Z's general system. I love it. I love the 5Z's general. We are still annexing um, Oyo. Ottomans are making claims. Silly Ottomans. They have no chance. They make a lot more money, which is great. We don't really need manpower right now, so we're not going to bother with taking any options. We'll probably get mercantilism. Come on. We haven't even got a wall breach and we're up to 70%. Damn it, they took the thing back. That's unfortunate. Who's your wall with? Dorphine as well. Fair enough. Colony self sustaining. Game's trying to catch up. Sweet. So we have free colonists and we have a free merchant as well. Um, what are we going to do with you colonists? Probably. <clears throat> Probably go there. Then we can declare war on these guys. And give the land to our um, colony. 21%. Oh, cores are all coming in. That's great. Means we can go to war for more land. Which we probably will. Um, looking at probably attacking this fella. We'll probably build another stack here. Just for reassurances. Making a decent income now that we've um, finished our colony. Picardy is dead, basically. Let's face it. Okay, that siege is done. Probably been sieged by Dolphin, yep. Um, may as well go out to Brandenburg. Making a good amount of money now. Colony self sustaining. That was two colonies now. Two colonies that we can send. I did send one over here, right? Yes, good. Uh, we have three merchants, so we'll probably. Where do we have most power? 10% there. 38% here. Sixty-two. Fifty-three but it's already being pulled No, oh, it's not being pulled forward anymore by Portugal anymore, is it? Might transfer trade here. Main reason is like four ducats there just sitting there, and we're gonna have full control of this area in no time. Which begs the question do we really need to send it there? Eh, I'll fool around with it later on if I remember. I probably won't remember, but you know, could happen. Okay, we're still making cores, are we? So one's almost finished. I didn't actually pay attention to where that was. Oh well. We'll find another time. And I'm... Um, I did set the time good. I'm actually organized today. Also today is the 6th, at least in Australia. And um, that means Huey 4 is coming out. And I have already pre-ordered it. Because I'm super excited about that. Because Huey 4 looks amazing, basically. Um... He does have a pretty damn good general. I think. Yeah, damn it. I don't really have any forces nearby except for this stack. I don't really want to give up that though. But that is a huge force there. And oh my god, that is the worst pathing. Ugh. 
there's no way he's going to get there in time. We have the defensive train. We're not going to have a full front line, possibly. Hmm. Three, 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 three. Ugh. I'm not really rolling any better. Damn it. We'll keep that one at least. That's unfortunate. Yeah, they're de they're way outflanking us. Oh, that's bad. It'd be great if we get um some help in here, but you know, not gonna happen. Oh, those number loss. That's bad. That was a bad fight for us, that's for sure. Should have retreated a lot sooner. Uh, colony self-sustaining. Game catching up. Excellent. Uh, may as well finish this one off. Get rid of that stain there. So now they're probably going to come for this stack here. Can we finish the siege as we can? Okay, so he'll get there on the 7th, he'll get there on the 8th. He's gonna have the penalty, I don't want the penalty. Oh no, he's, re he's retreating. Oh, that's right, the 12th. That'll be woods. Actually, no, we don't want there. SA gets, yeah, whatever. I don't care about SA. 42%. They're not going to attack us there, but it looks like because there's just too many soldiers. Probably go out the cleaves. We should also probably wait till I have enough forces, but I don't like waiting. We'll just go in. 42%. It's fallen. Looks like his main army's up that way. That's good. 42% again. Oh, that's not good. That is not he. Uh, that's still actually a pretty good general, though. About to say it's not his good general, but can we get out there in time? First. 31st. And he's getting there on the 30th. Yep, so we can't get out there in time, unfortunately. Can we get there by chance? We can. In that case, force march. We'll just consolidate. And book it up there. Hopefully we get there in time. So far, so good. Lost claim. Yeah, whatever. We have advanced course belly. That doesn't matter too much. He's going to get there to help out. Yes, this is a good engagement for us, that's good. Oh, that's just... we crushed. Comparably, we did not lose anywhere near as many, so that's good. Should also turn off Force March. We're making a lot of money now because a lot of our colonies have finished. If not all of them. Uh, they're almost finished though. So yeah. Probably self-sustaining. Excellent. I don't know why I went to it. I did. So this war is pretty much won now. <laughs> that big stack that um, they had must have just, I don't know, melted away at some point. We'll go out to Cleves, they might, um, Cologne, sorry. We'll go for the capital, that's better. Much better option. Oz is only, uh, doesn't have a fold on there, so it should fall pretty quickly. Yeah, 49% already. God, this, this siege general, I just love siege leaders. Especially later in game, early in the game, yeah. 
it's not too important. It's, um, what do you call it? Shock is way more important early in game, but later in game, Siege is just so valuable. We're also going to attack Manus very soon. I don't believe he... Oh, he has an ally in Ava, Ava, all the way over here, but they're not going to cause any issue for us. Um, so yeah, we'll just wait until um, all the soldiers are fully ready, aka probably about now. That's probably good enough. I'll wait till he gets down there. May as well. No harm in it. Poland accepted peace with Cologne. That's fair enough. And he's like, oh no, I think he's going to attack. His forces are getting ready on borders. Colony self staying, excellent. All the colonies coming in. We're making a killer of money. Don't really want to pull the um, main guys off, but yeah. He's black flag now, so may as well. Is there any more rebellion problem up here? Does not look like it. Oh, a little bit. Nah, not much of an issue. No leader. We'll give you him. And they're also dip um, protecting, well, supposedly protecting, um, who was it? Guaranteeing the independence of Gujarat. Yeah, that's what happened. What was I going to do? Oh yeah, take from Bohemia. Bohemia is happy after all. Come on. Thank you. Declare war. Take capital. Yeah, Ava can come in if he wants. Confirm. Where do we want to send you first? Might as well send you there, send you there, and send you there. Siege the capitals. And what all the colonists have arrived. Uh, recall. Recall. Send. Send. So waiting for the others to arrive. I mean, if you have the money, you may as well burn through it, right? There we What is his tech? 24 to our 25. He's actually doing pretty well right now. I don't think he's going to want to engage us. He's probably going to go, yeah, deal with these peasants. Good for him. I wonder then. Yeah, that's not good. Yeah, stop it. See if we can just hold him in there. Make him go, I don't want to leave. And that will enable us to just siege everything down real quick easy send him there as well he's probably going to just crush him and then come back out though oh no he's sticking very successful excellent I think that's probably everything How about that one up too far. So, can we trap him in there? I don't think um, Janupur will give him access. And no, he's he's leaving. Damn it! Hmm. He's not going to want to attack any of us, I don't think. Take you three. How short are you? Ooh, that's actually a pretty big fort. Um. Hmm. 
Mm. What? Yeah, whatever. Let's go there. Oh, he's building forces, damn it. I think I'll just have to crush him. Yeah, he's got a pretty damn good general, but mainly just for fire. It's all for show. Yeah, I'm gonna do, um, few probably playthroughs of um, Huey 4 so that should be good looking forward to it um, so if you're interested in watching that series and stay tuned to the channel they'll um, probably popping up later this week as well as this one of course like this is basically a done campaign basically the only um, thing we're really waiting for is our leader to die and then for the um, Roman Emperor to die, and then we should become Emperor. In theory. If all goes well. We also take these two provinces from him. Lost Court's Belly, that's fine. Making a crap ton of money. Can pull you back, I think. Um, recall. And where do we want to send you? Probably here just to stop Bastard Portugal from expanding anymore in there. Should attack Portugal again sometime. Thinking of the lands I'll probably take will be these two definitely. And then probably the border here. Just encircling him basically. Also our extensions are done. I'm probably going to make these into states. Possibly. So you don't seem to get the um, like overseas penalties or anything anymore. I believe. Yep. And the reason being 81 development and 51 development like the development over here is just really really good 32 development there plus that 33 makes it you know 65 so <laughs> definitely worthwhile so yeah that just made um that's a bit more stronger gave us more manpower most likely as well so yeah, and more income. Income's always good. Okay, so we can take administration power, which we are still ways away, or take the money. I think we'll take the money, mainly because I want to do some more buildings. 35%, thank you. What happened to his army? I know we crushed it, but where's the main... Stacks, that's the only 3.7. We didn't do that much damage to him, did we? Because yet, no, it's just us he's at war with. Yeah, fair enough. I ain't gonna complain. I didn't think we did that much damage to his army. Unless he um, ran into one of us. Should actually be converting land. So he's wanting to like convert this stuff into a, a state, but I don't want to do that because these are trade companies. You don't want to give trade companies that type of power. It's worthless, basically. 
Okay, once that's finished sieging, we'll send him down here to crush that. We'll catch this army out, which is great. Yes, we don't have a proper front line, but that's alright. Because neither does he, really. Even if he's superior general, we still crushed him. Let's go after the forts. Um, give us points. Oh, I should probably pay attention over here, I guess. Um, bring it back here. He's actually mustering his, um, forces together. Well, there's not really much left. Granted, the majority of these um, numbers are me. 232,000 from Spain alone. <laughs> but still, they should not be having any issues. Pomerania, I think that was. Just melted. Um... Oh, there he is. I was like, where is that other general? Probably sent him there. He's going to be a bit of a tough fight, but, um... Yeah, we, we are cannon heavy. Um... Let's quickly build up some, um... Troops, nobles are worried. Great. Cologne, okay. They only took one province. Why didn't you take all? Okay. AI gonna AI. So we crushed someone. May as well bring him back up here. Continue to let take land. Can we build these forces already? Thank you. What? Uh, there's no point. Much longer. You know what? Good enough. I don't want to let him take the land after all. We are attacking in the woods. Ooh, it's going to be a slug vest. Actually. Uh, infantry combat ability. Oh, look at that. Him, he just melted. Oh, and he got reinforcements. Damn it! Can we get reinforcements there? Although he's yeah, he's still gonna lose, but it's gonna be close. Let's stop there. And how is this war going? It's going pretty well. When you chase down that bugger. Send you up to Berlin. Probably Wisma. I would like to have um, a general, but... Actually, no, we'll send you to Kassel. I'm probably butchering names as well, so sorry about that. Um, turn that there. What's he doing? Okay. He's turning back, that's good. 
record him. And there's the alarm. Let's we'll finish this fight. Should not take long. That port should fall soon. Spain occupied more land. That's because we are awesome. Oh. Yeah, that's right. Not our rebels. And they're only naval rebels. <clears throat> and did we crush his army? Yeah, we did. Sweet. Anyway, guys, um, I'll probably end this episode there. So uh, if you enjoyed it, feel free to like and subscribe to keep up to no future content. If you have anything else you'd like to say or comment on or suggest, feel free to leave it in the comment section down below. Uh, like in Huey 4, if you're going to be watching this series and you want to um, see something specific, uh, just let me know what you'd like to see and I'll see if I can uh, do it, I guess. But yeah, anyway, take care guys. See you later.